I am an editor on an advanced documentary project this semester, so here is a little tutorial on how I transcode and sync dailies in Avid Media Composer. All right, so with our media drive, we have all of our raw media, and today was the fourth weekend. So this is our labeling system that me and the second editor came up with. This works for us. 400 is obviously weekend four. Inside this, they shot two different weekends. So weekend one and weekend two. And then inside each of these, we have a raw footage folder and a raw audio folder. I'm going to dump both day one and day two's footage and audio. Now that all the footage is dumped in our main media drive, I actually use Avid Media Composer through USC's licensing. Um, so I have to connect to the VPN to be able to get onto Avid when I work from home. Once we are on to that, let's get rocking and rolling. Okay. All right. So I have both my editing and my media drive plugged in right now because what we're going to do is access the raw footage from the media drive and transcode it into our editing drive. So let me just open up my Avid project. Okay. Oh my God, this is a mess. All right, ignore all of this. Um, so this is how we have our files organized um, in our project. I'm gonna go into my raw footage folder. I'm going to add a new folder and this is going to be 400R, which is basically weekend for raw footage. Now, as you can see in all these other bins, we have the name of the project and then like 101, 102, 103, etc. Those are weekend or like, if we shot Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it'd be like 101, 102, 103. So I'm going to now go into our 400 folder and I'm going to make a new bin. And this is going to be the name of our project and then 401. And then um, we shot two days. So I'm going to make both of our, both of our bins. Here's 401 and 402. For Avid, you link your footage and you import audio. So I'm going to go to the source browser. Here's our source browser. I'm going to click our media drive, go to our weekend four folder, our 401 bend, click all of our footage. I'm going to make sure that it is linked going into the correct bin and then I'm going to link it. Um, some of the clips failed to link just because some of them are XMLs, not MFXs. Go to our 402 bin, click our footage, link, 402, link. Perfect. Once that's done, then I'm going to go up to our audio folder. We have a raw audio folder. I'm going to make a 400 folder of raw audio and then I'm going to do the same thing humor me 401 that is for audio and then another humor me 402 okay so then for audio you import audio so input source browser I'm going to go to our 400 401 audio Here's that, and you import audio. And we were working on a 24 frame. So now that that's done, let's go here. So I have a transcoded and synced folder. It's transcoded and synced. So in the transcoded folder, we are going to do just that. We are going to make another folder. This one's going to be called 400T for transcoded. And then inside this, we are going to make a new bin. This one's going to be 401 underscore trans, oh Lord, transcoded. And then 402, oh God, 
transcoded. So yeah, so I'm gonna come to Synced, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna make a 400S folder, 402 Synced. So now that all the bins are made, everything is organized, I'm gonna come here to my 400 raw footage folder. And if you can see here, this symbol means that it was linked, the footage was linked. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna select everything, I'm gonna do consolidate and transcode. I'm going to transcode, and right now it's linked to my media drive. So I'm gonna select my editing drive, transcode only linked media. We are in DNX HRLB. I'm going to convert audio sample rate and audio bit depth to 48 and 24. These, you can see this symbol right here is the transcoded, linked versus transcoded. So I like to just grab everything and then move it to the correct bin in here. So now I have all my clips in their correct transcoded bins. And then what I like to do is now to sync everything I like to go into my raw audio folder, go into the bin that I need. So for these two audio takes, this is for 104. I like to drag everything into the 104 synced. And then for the footage, I like to grab everything in here. So now in the 401 synced bin, we have our WAV files and our transcoded footage. If time code sync worked correctly, you can see that this footage clip starts at 1035. This audio clip starts at 1035, which means time code sync hopefully worked. I'll select both of them. I'll go to auto sync, source time code, click OK. And if you see this symbol here, this is now the synced video and audio. And if I play it, it should line up perfectly. I, like just when it was like hypothetical. Yeah, of the completely hypothetical. Okay, so then what I like to do is I'll take all the raw audios and I'll move them back into their correct folder. I'll take all of the transcoded footage, put that in its correct folder, and then all that's left in the sync bin are the two synced clips. Um, perfect. So now let me do 402, drop all 402 into sync bin, audio, drop all these into the sync bin, perfect. Cool. So now, once everything is transcoded and synced, what I will do is I will throw everything into a sequence for our director to watch through as like a string out, pick what she wants, pick time codes, and then send that back to us to edit a cut. There's a string out. So now that this is exporting, I'm going to upload it to the Google Drive, send it to director, and that's that for transcoding and syncing dailies on Avid Media Composer.